turns to the heart, it is deoxygenated. That is, it is low in oxygen because it has transferred its oxygen to the tissues in the other parts of the body. When the blood enters the heart, it comes in through two major veins. Remember, veins always carry blood into the heart. We have the superior vena cava right here, and we have the inferior vena cava, also pronounced vena cava. After passing through these two major veins, the blood enters the right atrium. When the atria contract, the blood will move through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. When the ventricles contract, the blood will shoot up through the pulmonary semilunar valve and exit the heart through two arteries. Remember, arteries carry blood away from the heart. We have the left pulmonary artery and we have the right pulmonary artery. Pulmonary refers to the lungs and so these arteries are taking the blood to the lungs. And again, there's a left lung and there's also a right lung. Now in the lungs, the blood will pick up oxygen and then this blood will become oxygenated, so it turns red. The oxygenated blood will return to the heart through the left pulmonary vein, again veins carry blood into the heart, and the right pulmonary vein from the left and right lung. Entering the heart in the left atrium. The atria will contract and the blood will pass through the mitral valve into the left ventricle. The ventricle will contract and the blood will then leave the heart through the aortic semilunar valve and then enter a very large artery called the aorta. And the aorta will carry blood downward to the lower parts of the body, the abdomen and lower legs, etc. And also it will shoot the blood upward towards the head. Then after the blood has traveled through the body and given the body oxygen, then the whole process will repeat itself again. Now when we look at circulation, there are two major types going on here. First of all, we have the circulation between the heart and the body. If we look at it in a very general way, the blood comes in through the vena cava from the body and then ultimately it will go out through the aorta to the rest of the body. And this is called the systemic circulation. It's like the main central circulation. But within this process, there is another circulation. And this is the pulmonary circulation. The pulmonary circulation involves the movement of blood from the heart to the lungs through the pulmonary arteries and then back into the heart through the pulmonary veins. And there's one distinction between these two types of circulation that's kind of important to note. When we're talking about the systemic circulation from the body to the heart and then back to the body, blood coming in is low in oxygen, blood going out is high in oxygen. With pulmonary circulation, it's the exact opposite. The blood going out of the heart 
is low in oxygen because it's going to the lungs to get oxygen. After it's got the oxygen, the blood coming into the heart is high in oxygen. So it's kind of important to keep those two distinct, primarily because we generally think of the arteries going away from the heart carrying oxygenated blood. The veins going into the heart carry deoxygenated. And that's true for the central circulation. But for the pulmonary circulation, it's the exact opposite. The arteries carry deoxygenated blood and the veins carry oxygenated blood.